Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Little Orpheus on the Apple Arcade for the Apple TV. Uh, the game is best played with a controller and better with headphones, it looks like here. So, uh, I am using my Steel Series Nimbus for the game. As always, we are going to be starting a new game here. And we're loading up a little bit, so we got our little running guy here. You? All right, so we have like almost like this cinematic opening here. In 1961, you were selected for the Shukovgrad Interrail. Some nice little voiceover work. Like the voice acting. Despite failing your basic physical and being caught cheating on your entrance exams. On the morning of the 12th of April, 1962, you boarded a rocket drill containing the experimental device Little Orpheus with the purpose of descending through the Earth's crust to discover the relative... I like when games kind of put a lot into building up a story here, like this does. No, you've lost me, General. Did I do what? And this game does a really good job on the voice actors, the accents. Oh, that looks really good. Or sounds really good. To the center of the earth and find out Again, this is on the Apple TV 4K second generation. This looks like, you know, as good as a PlayStation, almost. Over three years ago. All right, so we're gonna start here. I'm using my left stick to move left and right. I'm walking with a little bit of a limp here. Let's see if that changes. But this game looks really good. Foreground is nice and sharp. Lighting's good. So I like, I like what I see with the graphics from the start here. It was uh, large and round and had something of a disagreeable smell. It looks really good, like in the background, whatever this is. Well, general, I don't know if it's shooting rock or churning rock. But uh, looks looks real good. Again, and Apple TV, 4K second generation is what we are looking at this on. And we have a little bit of the camera shake, which, which is also pretty cool here. Maybe I need to move. Okay, I didn't realize I could move here. So, all right, we're moving. So you get very seamless sort of, you know, from game to kind of like, you know, cinematic sort of feel. I can't tell like when I'm supposed to move and when it's like a cinematic cut cutscene, so that's pretty seamless there. Alright, so I'm just getting my bearings on the controls of the character. He's jumping in his movements. Game looks pretty. He doesn't move I would say super smooth here. He's a little little clunky, but Let's see, like it's better here. But the game looks really good. Probably looks just slightly better than kind of how, how how it plays, how it feels as of now. Transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb. Now this um, game is giving me sort of the uh, inside vibes. Now again, they're two different kind of games, but uh, the character and the way he moves and got done climbing the rope and jumping kind of gives me uh, inside. So if you haven't seen my review on inside, 
and let me assure you, this is not a case of milk. Uh, check that out. But you won't understand. It was one of my earlier reviews. And little Orpheus has ended up, unless I start at the very beginning. And you let iOS, me tell you where I've been uh, for the only game not in the app arcade. But uh, yeah, this game looks 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 stunning. This is good use of what we have with the you know the Apple Arcade uh, graphics, uh, at least like on the Apple TV 4K second generation. If you've played this like on your iPhone or iPad, let me know. Let's see if I can make this jump here. From the beginning, then. But this Again, really cool better. lighting changes. Good, All right, now we're like in a cinematic it's more type than cut. Good. It's extraordinary. And yeah, it we're like in this sort like of prehistoric this. sort of land. Chinese room presents. All right, so this gives us our opening of the game. And the g game has this sort of a comical sort of uh, undertone to it. I think our lead character here is supposed to be looked at as kind of like a goof, klutz, something like along those lines, it seems like. Nerdy, dorky type guy. Clumsy, maybe. An extraordinary sight. I realize this must be the fabled land of Plutonia, as documented by the brilliant scholar Obrachev. A trail of All right, so now we're in a more like sort of green, lush environment. The wild and mysterious jungle. The rocky drill itself okay, we're must falling have down this hill here. Below Kamchatka, and little Orpheus Bounced All right, that looked really good. He lost in that prehistoric yes, forest. dust himself off, I brush himself off. Home. My mission was clear: to find little Orpheus. But yeah, look at the size of that tree in the background. You know, in comparison to him, so we're definitely like in some sort of prehistoric type setting. Like everything, these flowers, these steeled myself and plunged deeper into that dragonflies, where insects the size of dogs buzzed around. Dogs, what sort of dogs? I beg your pardon, General. Large dogs or small dogs, big like an alchaka or small like a barlonga. Does right, it really that jump of course. Of the Detail piece of tree. Important. Then, Collapse. The size of an I find but again, I'm moving to the stage is pretty intuitive. There's not much thinking I have to no. do about kind of how to proceed through the stage as I fall there. See, he does move a little clunk. You know, it's not super um, tight controls. They're not super tight, but again, tight enough, I would say. This does, I probably die. Alright, so it looks like I do have to go to the right. First time I feel kinda like, okay, which way am I supposed to be going? So we're going down to the right. We're usually, usually going up and to the right. Okay, we're swinging like Tarzan here. All right, let's see. 
Not going so bad. Another part of the rocket drill. But still no sign of little. There's like pieces of like a spaceship or something like that. In the background, he's kinda of looking at it. Oh. Yeah, look at that, very thematic. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. See, uh, he's kind of moving. I'm not sure, is he, I'm not sure this game came out on another system. Is this game on the PlayStation? Maybe I see, I've seen this on the PlayStation, maybe. Or Xbox. I don't know if this is only on the Apple Arcade. Okay, we have our first dinosaur sighting here. I think that's like a brontosaurus that just kind of flashed across the screen. Than any known to Let our me know if I'm wrong. Could it be that Obrachev was right? And deep below the Earth's surface, prehistoric monsters still roam freely. Yes, yes, but little Orpheus. All of our dinosaur fans out there, all of our Jurassic Park fans. I think those are Brontosaurus. And they don't eat meat, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're herbivores. Alright, time that up pretty good. Alright, not bad getting through this stage here. But uh, yeah, this game this game uh, moves uh, pretty good. Okay, we have a cutscene. Okay, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, that looks really good. Inside of his mouth. That terrible lizard intent on making a snack of me! I cut back to the interrogation the room. Most awful of the monsters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, now you are an expert on dinosaurs. Oh, hardly an expert, General. Just educated by the best schools in the world, like all good socialists. And I remembered one crucial thing. I'm listening. Well, uh, its greed is without bottom. Its hunger is ferocious. But its brain is absolutely tight so it can roar and roar as much as it likes right. but it will never Another be a match big fall here of the good soviet worker brush yourself off for for walking out with the monster So the game looks good, the, gra the graphics are holding up really nice here. The character looks good, the foreground looks good, the background. Press and hold B to interact. Okay, yeah, so definitely giving me more um, of, the, of the inside vibes, interacting with the way he interacts with the environment. But yeah, that, that dinosaur, that T-Rex looked really good. And it was uh, kind of roaring. Imagine my shock Everything's pretty strong with this game. In that oh, look at that, look at the way it kind of, of like the, the heat. 
the heat distortion. Kind of, kind of see the waves, the lighting. This, this looks really good. They put a lot into this. That's what I'm thinking. This must be on the console, so the console somewhere. This looks really good. The foreground, look at the piece of the ship there. The, the heat, waves, the lighting, the rain. They've packed a lot into like these environments. You know, who know who knew we'd come this far with some of these sort of like graphic enhancements. We have the dinosaur carcasses here. Alright, so we have the T-Rex in the background. He looks he's looking really good too. Alright, so I have to kind of tuck behind these things so he doesn't see me. Let's see if I can make it. Oh no, okay, he got me. Just gotta be patient here. Gotta be patient. Okay, so he puts his head on the other side. Let me see if I can run for it. All right. Hopefully I've lost him. I will admit it might not have been Plutonia if you are prepared to accept the dinosaur. This isn't a negotiation, Ivan. Alright, what do I have to do with this thing? General, I think you can pull disagree it. all you like, but there's very little you can do to persuade me it wasn't a dinosaur. I might not be able to persuade you, but I can always pull it or push it, maybe. that sort of vine hanging down, let's see. Just a way for the game to make sure you know they, they know that you know the buttons, know how to interact with the environment. So yeah, here we go, we're on the vine. Oh, T Rex is back. He's roaring, he's upset. So let's see, I think I have to make sure he doesn't see me. But yeah, look at him, his head and all that looks really good. His eye there. Looks really good. Can't say m much bad about this game. Game's not slowing down at all. The T Rex looks really sharp. Uh oh, I think he saw me. Alright, yeah, he saw me there. I have to be a little bit more patient. Jeez, that killed me, that jump. Alright, so you do take fall damage. I didn't realize, you know, obviously if you fall off the cliff with no sort of ground, but I didn't realize if you if you let go from too high on these vines, that will also kill you, so keep that in mind. Alright, we're gonna run. 
run for it. We're creeping, we're creeping here. He's peeking. We have to, I'm gonna wait one more time. And then make a run for it. So yeah, he's just staying over here. Let's see how fast I can go get up here. All right, cool. So he's looking up and down. Hiding behind these bushes, we're gonna go up. Good here. I don't know what that was. But yeah, the elements in this game will kind of try to scare you here and there, it looks like. Beyond just the dinosaurs trying to eat you. Dinosaur eggs. Okay, so I think I'm stuck in this. I'm sure I, I'm gonna have to duck or something like that. Like in the movies. So this game does a good job at kind of really making this fairly comical, kind of like a movie. You know, this is just like a cinematic cutscene. Alright, so now I can move. And when I stop moving, yes, the egg stops here. Alright, so um, this is Little Orpheus. This game looks really good. He moves pretty good. He moves okay. The game looks uh, real great. Sound. Voice acting, graphics, all those things are top notch in this game. So I definitely will recommend this. Check this out. This is Little Orpheus. Um, everything looks pretty good with this game. Not a lot of flaws here. I think this is a nice little single player side scroller to check out here. And a lot of sort of dynamic things going on here. Hopefully, you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always you can't win if you don't play you hid in an egg yes general i hid in an egg i am glad to hear your military training was not wasted if only i had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you with only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across Europe in a day. General, are you mocking me? You are as sharp as you are brave, Talarish. <laughs>